Okay, so this will be our fourth group trip that I have hosted. Um, we did Ireland and Greece last year, and then we have a cruise coming up. And then we did also did a cruise that I unfortunately wasn't able to go on in January. Um, so we had a ton of fun on our Ireland trip, and I am really, really excited about doing Italy. Um, Italy has my heart in lots of ways, and a lot of people were really interested in doing Italy. So I hope that um, this is doable for some people. Um, so on this particular trip, um, it focuses on one area of Italy. Italy is broken up into different regions, kind of like states are. Um, and so we're gonna focus on Tuscany, which is on the west coast of Italy um, onto the Mediterranean Sea. So um, the dates for the trip are May 23rd through 31st of 2025. Um, the way it's set up right now is if you booked today or very soon, you can do monthly payments for the next 12 months to get it paid off, um, which will help some people hopefully. Um, you do need to fly in the day before. So when planning travel, um, you would leave no later than May 22nd, and then you would return no later than June 1st if you were not staying earlier or going later. And I can go over that later and also like explain how that works if people have questions about it. Um, so this tour is called The Best of Rome in Tuscany. It is nine days and eight nights. Um, two of the nights will be in Rome. That'll be the first night that we get there. And then the last night of the trip as well. The other six nights in the middle, we will be staying in the same hotel the entire time. Um, and it is a wellness and spa hotel located in Monte Catini Terme, which I didn't put Terme on there, but um, Monte Catini is a town and Monte Catini Terme is also a town and you can see them from each other. Monte Catini is a more modern um, town and Monte um, Terme is the more modern town and then Monte Catini by itself is a Italian hill town. Um, if you've never been to Italy, there are, um, they're called hill towns. In the medieval times, they built houses on top of hills that had cliffs down them and it was a way of protecting their cities from attack from other kingdoms or other um, cities um, back in those days. So it's really beautiful and we'll visit several of them on this trip. So what is included with this trip? Um, this is a guided tour. So the price is almost all inclusive. It includes all of the accommodations. So your hotels um, transfers from and to the airport. So they pick you up, take you straight to the hotel. Um, all transportation while on the trip. Um, so transportation to get to the different tours or any specialty dinners. If you do any of the optional things, transportation is included on everything. Um, it also includes all of your tours. Um, and the way that these tours work, um, we are a private group. Um, so we are touring with our group only. We're not standing in line for hours waiting to get in. For example, at the Vatican, you're not going to wait for hours to get in. We walk up to the door and we go straight in. That doesn't mean that the other people won't be there, but um, we won't have to stand in line and wait for tickets and things like that. It's all taken care of. Um, it also includes a welcome dinner that we'll have the first night that we arrive in Rome. Um, it also includes breakfast every day, which is at the hotel. Um, the hotel breakfasts are um, typical hotel breakfast. Um, in Italy, uh, the food is a little bit different. There's usually a lot of pastries. Um, they have interesting scrambled eggs which you may not or may like or may not um but there's always like a variety of pastries and they do like charcuterie and it's really nice so um you'll have that every day um there's one lunch um that is included on a day that we will be going out to um a farm and villa and getting a cooking lesson and then we will eat the cooking that we do um, and then we also have a Be Our Guest Dinner experience, which is an elevated experience that really helps you learn about the culture um, of the people that we're visiting. It also includes luggage portage, which means you do not even have to move your luggage. We set your suitcase outside your door in the morning while you go to breakfast and it gets put on the 
coach for you. Um, and then that evening, when we arrive back at our hotel, it's back at your door. Um, since we'll be staying in the same ho hotel for most of the time, that's not as big of a deal as it is on other ones. But if we're like moving on other tours where we move every night, that's really nice to not have to worry about your luggage. And then of course, group photo ops, I'll be on the trip. I'm a photographer also as obviously. So um, I'm happy to do photos for people. And then we also do like some group shots and group things together. Um, so what is not included? So not included would be the flight to and from Rome. And um, depending on where you're flying from, um, flights from Sioux Falls typically tend to run anywhere from 1200 to 1800. It really depends. I purposely picked this time of year because I hoped that the flights would be a little bit less. Midsummer, they're outrageous. This year, they're almost $2,500 a person, but last summer they were about $1,200. So um, as a side note, this summer, um, the Olympics are in France. So airfare to Europe in general is crazy this year. Um, it also does not include an overnight tax, which is paid at the hotel. Um, that is a city requirement. It's paid at check-in. Um, tips for the guides and drivers. Um, so you, you can tip, um, it is suggested to tip our guides and drivers. They get to know us really well and we get to know them and they become friends and um, they work really, really hard and do such a good job. So tipping for them. Um, and then any incidental charges, you won't have any surprise charges, but that would be like if you needed to go to the doctor or go get medicine or something like that, or wanted to take a taxi to your own dinner or something, you would be responsible for those. Um, so like I said, I chose these dates because it's the shoulder season, um, which means peak tourist season has not got here yet. So hopefully it's not too crowded. Italy is very popular in the summer um, and I tried to get it so it wasn't too early in there, but not too late um, and it won't be too hot, hopefully. Um, it does offer some lower prices on rooms and tours and make them a little less crowded as well. All right, so day one is our arrival in Rome. Um, so you'll be flying in that day, that morning or the night before and um, you are able to come in early i can arrange hotel rooms for you if you'd like to come in early if you choose not to how flights usually work from the u.s like for example if you're flying out of sioux falls you would probably leave on the 20th which would be the day before and you would likely fly to like minneapolis or chicago um and then you fly overnight and land in the morning in europe so your body gets a little bit of shock to the system with the time change. And typically what I say is power through, do not go to your hotel and sleep, go through the next whole day, try to sleep on the plane on the way over, get as much sleep as you can on the plane, arrive in Rome and you hit the ground running for the whole next day. Um, if you want to come a day early, um, we can arrange um, an extra um, tours, if you want to do a tour that morning or something, um, to go exploring on your own, you can do that too. Either way, you're probably going to land in the morning of whatever day you plan to arrive and you'll have to fly out from the day before. So on the arrival day in Rome, you will get a transfer from the airport to the hotel. Um, that is included as part of the tour. Um, in the previous tours, we needed to be there before 11 a.m. Um, and I'll help people with flights if necessary. Um, our hotel will be a four-star hotel near the Rome City Center. Um, typically, in previous ones, that hasn't been exactly walkable to go to the where all the touristy sites are, where you could easily take a cab. Um, I am not for sure exactly which hotel we will be in, um, so that I can verify that as we get closer. Um, and then you'll have free time to explore that afternoon before we do a driving tour with through the city. So we'll all gather together and we will head out to a authentic Roman restaurant um, to have our welcome dinner. Um, you could expect that it would be multiple courses um, and each area of Italy has its own cuisine and Rome is no exception. There are some dishes that are very specific to Rome. Um, so 
more than likely it'll be something along those lines. Typically in Italy, there's um, a, on our appetizer course, then there's usually a pasta course, and then a entree, which would be like your meat, and then a dessert. Um, and they also do some things that we'll learn about, um, the different wines that go along with those. And they also do a thing called grappa, which we will learn about during one of our um, dinners. All right, so then on the second day, uh, we will wake up in Rome and we will start out um, by doing a tour of St. Peter's Basilica and the Pieta with a local guide. So we'll have somebody who is local to Rome who will take us through. They are so informative. Um, you will learn so many things that you didn't know you didn't know. Um, it's really a beautiful building, actually. And especially if you're Catholic, that would probably be really special to you. I'm not Catholic, but I still really enjoyed um, visiting there. And it's just really incredible. Um, we'll have lunch on our own. And then we'll depart for Tuscany. Um, it's a couple hours drive from Rome um, to our hotel, um, and we'll be on our coach during that time. Um, we'll arrive in Montecatini Terme, which is the oldest and largest spa town in Italy. They have a lot of um, natural springs and spas, um, so a lot of people go there for health benefits. Um, so it's really neat that we get to stay there the whole week. Um, then we have an optional dinner that night, which is dinner, wine, and music in the Tuscan Hills. Um, or you can go out for dinner on your own. I have actually done this wine dinner previously, and it is really, really, really fun. So um, you, you get to eat outside um, along by the olive trees, and they explain to you how they make olive oil, and the food is really good, and the, the family that owns this place is really, really great. So um if you, I highly recommend going on that optional excursion. So day three, we will be headed to Florence. This photo here is Pontificio. I can probably, I'm not saying it right. I slaughter all of them, but it is a very famous bridge in Florence that you will likely see while you're there. Um, so in Florence, we'll have breakfast at the hotel and then we'll drive into Florence from our hotel. It's not very far, it's about um, in miles, I think it's about 20 miles. It doesn't take very long to get there. Um, then we'll do a walking tour of the Duomo and the piazzas. Um, Florence is a very old city, but it's also very small. It's about the same size as Sioux Falls, a little bit bigger. Um, the Duomo is the very famous church cathedral that's there. It's stunningly beautiful. Um, so we'll get a walking tour and some history regarding that. Um, some of the piazzas have really great stories behind them, so our local guide will be telling us stories about that. Um, then we'll have free time to explore around Florence. Um, there were so many things to see. Pontificio, which is a, that photo I showed you, um, back in medieval times when that bridge was built over the river, um, there was, um, they said that only people that could have shops over the river were jewelers and watchmakers so to this day that whole entire bridge is full of people who make jewelry and sell jewelry and it's um some of the finest jewelry in europe and it's really neat to see there it's just lined up with like gold and jewelry across the entire bridge um and the bridge itself is interesting it's it's a really cool thing to see um you can climb to the top of the duomo which is really beautiful. I personally have not done that, but that is on my list. I will probably do that while we're there. Um, and then there's a couple famous museums you could eat at. There's some really famous sandwich shops. If you are a TikTok fan and want to Google that, there's um, a sandwich shop that people line up for like hours to get sandwiches at. It's apparently the best sandwich in Italy. We skipped that when we were there because I wasn't going to waste my time standing in that line. Um, and then some famous art museums if you wanted to go see any of those. You optionally can also go on another tour to see the um, Statue of David, um, Michelangelo's David at the Academia Museum, which I very highly recommend if that is anything that interests you. Um, seeing that in real life is quite a trip. Um, it is visually stunning. And then when you see the detail work that's done in person, it's just mind blowing. And it was done hundreds of years ago all by hand. <laughs> So it's crazy to see that. All right, so then day four, um, this is a photo of Cinque Terre. Um, that's a very 
picturesque place that you've probably seen on photos of Italy. It's often used in marketing. Um, so day four, you have the choice of um, taking an optional tour to Cinque Terre or to stay in Montecatini. So um, breakfast at the hotel again, um, you'll get to either stay in Montecatini, enjoy the spas and the, um, the things around that town and explore, um, or you can take a tour to Cinque Terre. Um, so this is a very famous um, UNESCO world site. Um, there's a lot of history there. Um, until a few decades ago, the villages were cut off from a lot of the world because um, they're very hard to access actually. And like this time of year, you um, have to have like a private driver to get there because the ferries and boats don't run. But in the summertime, it's very popular. Um, the buildings are multicolored. Um, they're built into the hillsides. There's a famous um, hike that you can do across the villages. Um, and then of course, the little fishing boats and everything that are there. It's very beautiful. All right, on day five, you're gonna head out to Pisa and Vinci. Also not super far from our hotel, um, probably about a half an hour. Um, so not a ton of driving. Um, so we'll have breakfast at the hotel. And then we will head over to Pisa where we will go explore the Leaning Tower. Um, you can check that off your bucket list for things that you've seen in your life. Um, there's some little shops and little street vendors around there. Um, you can climb to the top of it. Um, it's, it's a nice place to visit. Um, then we'll drive to, through the Tuscan countryside to Vinci, which is a famous hill town and the birthplace of Leonardo da Vinci. Um, we'll get to learn about him, um, see some of work from that town um, with a local guide who'll walk us through all of that. And then um, that night we will have a dinner at a local vineyard. On day six, we will head out to Siena and San Gimignano. I can never say that in the name of that town. That Oh, this photo is San Gimignano. It's famous for their towers. So we'll have a breakfast at the hotel and then we'll head out to Siena um, to see the cathedral and the Piazza del Campo. Um, we'll also visit a stained glass workshop. Um, it's one of the only ones left in Italy that still does it in the old ways. Um, and we'll get to learn about that. Um, and then we'll head over to San Gimignano to stroll through the town, you have lunch, um, shop for local products. Um, it's you know, they sell pecorino cheese. There's a lot of pottery around there. Um, and lunch and dinner will both be on your own. Um, I'm assuming, I, I need to verify for sure, I'm assuming lunch is going to be in Siena and probably dinner will be in San Gimignano. And typically we go into a center place where there's multiple options to choose from. All right, and then on day seven, we're gonna have a really cool experience. Um, we are gonna have a cooking lesson from a Italian chef. Um, it's actually two sisters that own a villa and um, vineyard. We're gonna go out to their place where they're going to um, teach us how to cook in Tus Tuscan style, which tends to be a little more rustic um, than maybe other parts of Italy. Um, they will, um, take us to a market where we get to pick our own ingredients and then come back and prepare them. Um, and then we'll have lunch together um, paired with glasses of wine. Um, after that dining experience, we'll head back to our hotel um, for the night and we'll have dinner on our own um, and free time to relax. Um, day eight, uh, we're gonna head back to Rome and to the Vatican City. So we'll breakfast at the hotel um, that morning in Rome, um, or in Montecatini Terme, and then we will head back to Rome, which is a couple hours away. Um, I'm assuming we'll stop along the way to have lunch. Um, Italy has really cool um, roadside stops, so like rest areas that go over the road, and there's... Um, like fresh restaurants and you can buy fresh mozzarella in bags of milk. Um, it is it is very cool to see. I'm assuming a couple of these lunches might be at one of those stops. Um, and then we will go with a local specialist to explore the Vatican museums. 
that we'll get to see the Sistine Chapel. Um, and then we get to have dinner in the Vatican museums privately with our group. So that is going to be really spectacular. The Vatican museums, um, regardless if you are religious or not, are full of stunning artwork of all kinds. There's um, sculptures, tapestries, paintings. Um, I was blown away when we visited a few years ago because the tapestries are like 50 feet by 100 feet, some of them, and they were all um, woven by hand and the details incredible and on um, those just it's mind-blowing some of the tile work is the buildings are absolutely beautiful so it's just a really special place to visit um and we there's lots of statues um many of them that you may have learned or seen in books um are at the vatican and we'll get to have dinner amongst them so then the next day is a departure day um they count it as a tour day, but it's um, people are either leaving. Um, if you're going to head back that day, most people's flights will be very early in the morning. And again, we'll make sure that you get transferred back to the airport. Um, depending on how many people are interested in this tour, I want to offer an optional to stay an extra day and do a bigger tour of Rome. That includes the Colosseum, the Roman Forum, the Pantheon, Trevi Fountain, and Spanish Steps, which I feel are like the five big things that you have to see if you're in Rome. If you're going all the way to Rome and you skip these things, I think you would be sad that you missed them. Um, this would be separate, not included with the main tour, um, and it could be optional. Um, so I'm throwing this out there for people. You guys can ask about it. We'll see how many people are interested. I'm guesstimating about $300 per person would be for the extra hotel night and the tour. Um, the more people that we have that stay, the the less the tour will be. Um, and we can also like do it on our own. I've been to all those places. We can go. Um, we can also find a local guide on our own to give us those tours. So um, I'm guesstimating about $300, which is not included with the price that I have quoted here. Um, but if you're interested in that and you think you would want to do that and stay that extra night, I'll make sure that that day um, is a full Rome tour. So the price for this right now is $33.50 per person for a double room. That means two people in a room and that price is per person. Um, if you book by March 15th, there's $200 off. So it'd be $31.50 per person um, to lock in that price. If you're a single person and you want your own room and you don't want to share, it is $1,200 extra. So it ends up being um, $45.50 if you want to be a single person in a room. We can also do roommate matching. So if there is two people that are singles on them but don't want to pay for the single supplement, we can put you in a room together. Um, it would be women together or men together. Um, but what also can happen is we can put you in as a single and um, put you as a roommate match. And if for some reason there's not another single and there's nobody to put you in a room with, you will get a room by yourself for the double room price. Um, that happened on our last trip. So, um, but that's not guaranteed. So I just want to be upfront about that. And if you have any questions, I can explain that more. Um, the deposit is $200 per person. So for a couple, it would be 400. Um, that gets it booked um, for this price in case pricing does fluctuate sometimes and as closer it gets the price usually goes up right now this is the price um we can do a monthly payment plan it ends up being like 375 per person um and it, the balance is due february 20th of 2025 it's due 90 days before departure um i highly recommend buying the insurance that comes with it. It's typically around 550 per couple. Um, it, it's based on age and any pre-existing conditions. If you're like, you know, over 60, it's probably gonna be a little bit more. If you're like in your 20s and 30s, it's typically less. Um, but I highly recommend that. It covers um, anything that happens while you're on the trip. If you would get um, delayed, if your luggage gets lost, um, if you get injured, um, there was, this didn't happen to me, but it happened to another agent. Um, they fell, in, uh, one of her clients fell and broke their leg and they did not have travel insurance. And it cost um, like a ridiculous amount to fly them home. And it was 
they were it was a cruise and they were just completely out the cost of the cruise and it was like in the like 30 to 40 thousand dollar range because they didn't buy insurance so buy insurance um so the deposit is non-refundable once it's paid um we can transfer the the 200 per person to another trip um with this same tour company um if you would cancel there you do not get the deposit back they keep it they will transfer it to another room but there's also a 250 fifty dollar cancellation fee for me um for the work that i do um to get this all um situated and all of the work that happens along the way um so i just want to be upfront about that there's a lot of time that goes into this so Anybody have questions that I can answer? Sorry about the water, but would me and my sister be able to be like a couple per se? Yes, yes. We just, um, they put you, um, we'll just tell them that in your room would have like two twin beds. European hotels are very different than American hotels. Most of the time there's only one bed in the room. The rooms are as a general rule, very small. And usually it's like a full size bed. If it's two people that are not a couple, then you would have two twin beds. And then would like for the insurance part of it too, would that be like the 550 per couple type thing? Yes. Yeah, I, I can quote it out separately. Like if you guys are each paying for your own, I can quote it separately. What I probably say is like, I'll bill it as one thing and either you can like both give me half credit card or one of you pays it and pays the other one or something. Um, but it would, I, and I can quote it the exact amount. That's just kind of an estimate and average for what it is for the insurance. Um, I don't know if you have like experience with this cause I know you already have a passport but if we applied like soonish within the next few months, do you think we would have our, our passports by this trip time? Oh, for sure. It's taking about like, and it's actually gotten a little bit faster. Um, it takes about ten to twelve weeks right now. So if you go, if you got one soon, okay. you have it in plenty. Okay. Are you able to help with that process? Like walk us through what we need to do and stuff like that. Yeah, it's super easy. Um, and I can give you the how to do it. Yeah. You um, do you live in Sioux Falls? Yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Are you guys sisters? Are you the sisters? Yeah. Me oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so for a passport, um, the Meadows Avenue Post Office and the Brandon Post Office both do like the photos and everything there. You have to make an appointment and I can send you the link. Um it's the times are not great, so it's always during the day, like between like two and four and or like 9 30 and 11 so it's like very inconvenient for people who have like nine to five jobs but they'll do the whole thing there there's paper that you fill out and you take with um and then you, you have to have a photo and they will do them there when um when we've done it in the the last time I did it I did not get it done there they weren't doing them there then but you can also go to Harold's and it takes like 10 minutes you just walk in you don't have to have an appointment or anything and just go in there and tell me you need a passport photo I think it's like $25 and they'll take it and they print it out and put it in a little folder for you and give it to you and you just take it to the post office with you with your with your passport form um, and it's not that hard to fill out it just asks like previous names, stuff like that. Um, and there's a place to staple the photo onto the thing and you can just give it to the worker um, at your appointment and they'll take care of all of it and make sure they check over everything, make sure it's all done right and stuff. And they do do the photos there. But, um, I have not personally done that. So I don't know exactly how that works, but um, you make an appointment online and that's how it works. And it's usually a couple of weeks out for appointments. So I can send it to you the link so you guys have it. Okay, that would be great because I think we're both like looking into like wanting to go. We've never been out of the country, so these since you've never been out of the country, these tours are really good for people who want to travel but are it's intimidating to go to like Italy by yourself for the first time. Yeah, going out of the country, and the entire time you're with an English speaking guide, they never leave your side. They stay at the hotel with you and everything. Um, their tour director. 
Um, I will be on the trip too, and you can always come to me for things, and then I can go to the tour director for you if you need anything. But um, the tour director is, they're just, the, every tour I've been on, they've been really fun and they're really knowledgeable. Um, they speak English. Um, they're usually local to the area, but they speak really good English. So you always have somebody with you. You're not on your own trying to figure things out. In certain parts of Italy, it is mostly Italian. And there are some of those little villages where they do not speak English. And so it's really nice to have somebody with you that can kind of get you around. Yeah. So I would be very intimidated in Italy by myself without a guide. So, <laughs> um, so that's one thing to be like comfortable about. Like you're always got someone there taking care of you. Okay. And, and on other tours, we did like a WhatsApp group. So we have like a group chat going um, and stuff like that. So it's fun. Okay, I think that was all the questions I had. She had to go to her, go to work. So I'm going to okay. touch base with her after. And then if you would be able to send us some links, because I know, and then like payment plans, because I know we would want to do it that way. Um, And then like flights, because yeah, we're terrible at finding flights. Sure. Yeah, and flights are actually not even available yet. It'll probably be like June before we could, book a flight it's usually like nine to ten months out so we would be looking at like june or july before flights will even be out okay. so it'll be a little bit on those okay perfect we will be in touch all right i will be sending out an email with kind of a recap of all of this um and then i'll send you those links to the passport stuff as well all right perfect thank you yes if you have any other questions let me know Okay, thank you. Have a good All night. Right. You too. Okay.